Okay, I've been meaning to share this since December. I mean, the Lord's really put it on my heart. David, are you going to say it or not? Um, on November the 26th, I felt like I had the flu symptoms. Um, and I um, called my primary care, and everything is done telemed now. So we talked over my phone. And he said, okay, well, I'm going to put you on uh, a Z pack. I'm going to put you on steroids. You need to take vitam vitamins B3, zinc, and vitamin C. And I want you to go get tested. And so he arranged for me to go down to this tiny, tiny hospital uh, down in South Georgia. It was 45 minutes from where I live. And anyway, it was a rapid test, and it came back positive. Well, the very second that I got those results, y'all, I got deathly ill. What was going through my mind was, oh, my God, I'm going to die. I had a mobile notary come to my house and stand on the front porch while they witnessed me signing my will. And I was in the bed, and I was terribly sick. And it's the first time I've ever in my life heard God speak to me audibly. And I heard the words, David. Faith and fear cannot occupy the same space. Which one's it going to be? I got up out of that bed, and I started declaring, I shall live and not die. I shall be well and I'm not sick. And within 30 minutes, that 103-degree fever was down to 97.2. And two days later, I was completely out of the bed. And four days later, I tested negative. So faith and fear cannot occupy the same space. Amen. And with COVID, Pastor Donnie, I know that you had it. I don't know if you ever had the fear when you first found out you had it because you were a lot sicker than I was. But a lot of y'all know I've lost over 60 pounds since July. I, when I, I had out-of-control diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. And the one thing my doctor told me not once but twice David, thank God you lost that weight and you got your blood sugar under control because had you not, this surely would have been a death sentence. So God saved my life, but when I started declaring life over me, Hallelujah. it immediately, I got better. And the seven people in my house, not another person got it. Hallelujah. So, I think, so I think that was a test from God to see where my faith stood.